this is Randy Haddock with the Cahaba River Society. And today I wanted to share something with you about uh, something you might have noticed as you were uh, walking around in rivers. Uh, this little guy here is a little caddis fly, C-A-D-D-I-S. Um, and it looks a lot like a moth. Uh, it's not a moth, but uh, the reason it's not in part is that the larvae of these caddis flies are aquatic. They live underwater. Now they are like moths and butterflies in the sense that they can make silk. In fact, they invented silk before the moths and the butterflies did, but uh, the uh, larvae use that silk to uh, make, for example, a little case around which they uh, form and they live inside that case. The, here the silk is used to weave together little flecks and bits of uh, leaves, uh, leaf particles and other organic matter. Here, a different species has used the silk to lace together um, tiny grains of sand, but, but not all caddis flies make uh, cases. There are others like this one that make nets. And here we have a net that's uh, perched in the river weed on the bottom of the river. And uh, the, you can see a big wide opening that faces upstream. And then uh, the larvae kind of has positions itself down here because what it's doing is uh, as food particles and other materials are washed downstream and wash into the mouth of the net, the little larvae uses his uh, upper lip, which uh, has this nice flat scraper shaped thing there to uh, scrape food particles off the uh, side of the net. Now uh, that works pretty well. The, uh, here we go, here's a little a video of how that plays out underwater. You can see the net there and you see all these tiny little particles of organic matter, which could be bits of leaves or algae or other materials that could wash down. You see how the current holds the opening of the net uh, so that uh, it's able to capture some of that material down in here where the larvae is uh, situated. And he just uses that upper lip to uh, gather food off the walls of the net and uh, make a living that way. So it'll transform into an adult and, and then lay eggs and uh, eventually make more caddis flies, we hope. And those in turn, may serve as uh, the base of the food chain for a lot of other insects or fishes that can specialize on eating caddis fly larvae. And uh, so they're real important to the base of the food chain and, and the rest of the ecology of the river. Well, thanks. I hope you enjoyed a little insight into some of the little critters that live in the river. We'll see you next time.